How do scientists know a dinosaur fossil is 66 million years old? Or that a cave painting is 30,000 years old? Are they just guessing? No. It's called dating. And no, not the dinner and movie kind. We're talking about age dating, the science of time. First up, relative dating. It's like a time sandwich. Fossils buried deeper are usually older. Older stuff on the bottom, newer stuff on top. But that just tells us which came first, not how old it is. To get the actual number of years, scientists use absolute dating. The most famous? Radiocarbon dating. Living things absorb a tiny bit of radioactive carbon. Carbon-14. When they die, it starts to decay. Tick, 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 like a radioactive stopwatch. By measuring what's left, we can tell exactly how long it's been dead. Up to about 50,000 years. Need to go older? Try uranium lead dating for rocks billions of years old. Or potassium argon dating, perfect for ancient volcanic layers. And it's not just atoms. From tree rings to trapped electrons and grains of sand. Nature keeps incredible records. And scientists? They're the time travelers who know how to read them. So next time you hear someone say, this fossil is 100 million years old. Remember, it's not a wild guess. It's science reading time itself.